Travis is in my guard. Head down. Again, he sits up. I'm going to grab his wrists. I try and break his posture. He makes a mistake. I break his posture, and I wrap him up with one of these grips. Okay, so the first one I'm going to take is an overhook. So I've got an overhook with my left arm, hand on the, on the back of his head. He can only really hit me with this. I can tuck my head, use my knees to bring him forward and back, and use my elbows. He's going to be able to hit my ribs, but I can still protect myself pretty well from here. When I'm ready to stand up, I'm going to put my foot on the hip. Okay, he's worried about a triangle here, which I'll show you later, but I'm actually going to use that to stand up. So my foot's on the hip. I make a bit of space, put my hand behind me. Again, you can see from my position, it's pretty much the same as what Travis was doing just a minute ago. Now on one motion, step back, and as I step back, I'm putting pressure on the back of Travis's shoulder, hand here, and I can either take his back, um, he can stand up, I mean, we're basically from there, we're in a neutral position and we're wrestling. So again, I break his posture, I get an overhook and I control. Foot on the hip. Make some space. Build your base. This is the key, getting that hand behind you. One motion. Now I put pressure. If he doesn't move his arm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to circle around and take his back. If he does move his arm, I'm still going to take his back and we're going to be wrestling from there. 